What's going on guys and welcome once again to our channel Cool Case Adventure here your Central Florida family happens to be back at Universal Studios and in this video we're going to show you our ranking what we think is going to be like the least favorite houses all the way to the most favorite houses and I highly encourage you you watch the entire video so you to see if you agree with us or not let start leaving us comments we want to see your comments because yes, if you disagree comment down below yeah tell, tell it like, like it is I disagree with Kyla oh, wow. do us that favor but anyway guys if you enjoy this type of content from Halloween Horror Nights and theme park we highly suggest that you stick around with us and also we suggest to subscribe slash that like button if we're sharing any valuable content with you family are we ready yes awesome because i am so what are we waiting on so let's go but wait mom hit the intro mom hit it We're standing right at the entrance of what it will be Hellblock Horror right over here by the Music Plaza. And why would they rank this one at? Number 10. Number 10. Last. Anybody wants to explain why it's number 10? Because last time we experienced a prison house. Oh, it was at Bush Gardens. Yeah. And it wasn't really the best experience ever. Okay, so pretty Can much. The, yeah, yes. yeah the pretty, pretty much the story goes that. Uh, there are inmates. There are inmates that become monsters, and if they escape, they attack you, and that's they it. Kill you. Then they say, you know, you're gonna have a death sentence. So, I mean, it's kind of like a repetitive story, kind of like an okay story. So, I, I believe that even in real life, if you're walking in front of, as uh, you know, inside enough. jail, it will be scary enough that alone. If they're monster, you know, that's what, I don't. I don't think it's the best thing. So. We rank this one at number 10. And also in this video, we're gonna also update you on the things that we find along our ranking, but I just wanna let you know that as of today, uh, merchandise has been spread all over the park, which is even better. So right here by Rip, uh, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket, you're gonna be able to find this stand. You, you got Frankie, the popcorn bucket, and they actually, you can find the uh, little blue zipper in here along with a bunch of other merch and here is another update the games have arrived and honestly last year we came over here and we were able to get some good uh prices so should we try our luck this year again we should karen i'm already looking at wolfie back there frank is over here on the side dracula's over there on the top so these are good ways to keep everybody entertained you're able to do some foot football toss and the soccer kick and again they do have monsters plushes and other uh, you also have the, the pumpkins as well so huh you know what so far I'm looking at cool prices nothing yeah. wrong with that no. and if you were wondering about the prices here are the prices you get for uh, eight dollars you get uh, the individual gameplays that's uh, I think it's three shots and then for $60, you get a 10 game place and you get a com complimentary price included, which will be this little guy right here. And for $30, you get five game plays and you just don't have to use it over here at all. You could use it on Crusty Land, Jurassic Park, and Toon Lagoon. So one thing I'm gonna tell you guys is that we were all wrong. We were wrong. Everybody thought that because we don't have a tent any longer back here, that they actually changed the entrance which it will not interfere with the main show that they're gonna have over here. Boy, we were wrong. Now, in case you were wondering which house is gonna be, I'm gonna show you the sign. It's right there, but what is... the cockroach? <laughs> yeah, right over there, like Carla said. Cockroach. So now, what is this, what is this uh, house? Bugs in Alive. Now, what did we rank this? Nine. We, ran, we ranked it a nine. And mom can explain. Now, why we ranked it a nine? Because it sounds disgusting. Mom is disgusting. Sounds disgusting. I don't really find it to be like a horror. horror. It's going to be disgusting, I think. It's just going to be gross and disgusting. I don't know that it's going to be a big horror. I understand that back in the days they used to make movies about bugs eating people and stuff like that, but still, like, it's a, that's, that's pretty much it, you know, yes, if you are scared of bugs, 
then it will yeah, make yeah. it scary. Other than that, it will be more disgusting than scary, yeah, right? But I do have yeah. to say, I like the beginning of the storyline where we go back to the past. Is it past or the future? Well, you go back to a house in the 1950s yeah. or something like that. I like that. that, but the eating alive, it's like... I'd rather, that sounds bad, I was gonna say, getting killed by like a person sounds more like, oh my god, don't hurt me, eating alive is like... Yeah, by above. That's by scary, above. but... Now, like, you got, now here's the story behind this house, and it was discovered by somebody doing research of the maps back, uh, backstage. The reason why this entrance is here is because this is gonna be, so I want you all to be ready, the longest walk to any of the houses. People are estimating it's going to be like about a quarter of a mile before you reach that house. So what's going to happen is that you, you're going to go this way behind MIB all the way down there to the tent rather than doing it like prior years. So they're ba basically, you, yes, you heard it correctly, Kyla. You will go that way and rather than finding the tent over here like we used to in prior years, you will be walking behind the building all the way to the other side. So if we haven't said yet, there's going to be a lot of walking. A lot of walking. Get comfortable shoes. Stay Amen. Stay hydrated. Amen. Uh, bring extra pair of shoes because it usually gets rain on. Uh, there you go. So everybody be ready to walk. That's all I got to say. Makes me even more not want to do this. The, the bug house. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting that they yeah, chose like, the bug house, the one that people are kind of like this. Keep them in there longer. Yeah. Now rank at number eight. Which one it is? Dead man's pier. Why? Because it doesn't sound that exciting. <laughs> it didn't sound so excited for you. Okay. Anybody wants to say elaborate? Because people that come. Do you know what this reminds me? Jack Sparrow. One of the movies from Jack Sparrow where, where they just come to life and they just start attacking us. That's it. Bingo. Kyla is correct. So it reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean. So picture these pirates, uh, or you know they. Dead pirates. Dead, dead pirates or dead sailors or whatever they come from the ocean and we're gonna be in a village so they're gonna come to the village to attack us and once they attack us and they kill us or uh, they're gonna drag us inside in the deep ocean that's what the story about and I so don't, I don't really think that it's that much original because it literally feels like everyone does it okay everyone does the exact same thing the exact same story similar story so there you go so that's why we rank this one at number eight Next house in our list happened to be right here by the MIB shop. You got the re regular restroom and back there, what do we have? Descendants of Destruction. And what do we rank that house on? Number seven. Number seven. Why do we rank that at number seven? It doesn't seem that exciting. What? I think it's not. No, okay. It sounds exciting, but out of our top five, it's not, it's not the top most exciting. exciting. So basically, they're gonna be mutants attack attacking you on a on, on a, a subway. in a subway. That's pretty much what it's about. I some just imagine some, a huge rat. Yeah, some kind of <laughs> I don't know about that, but some huge kind of rat. some kind of like repetitive story. If you ask for my opinion. So again, for me, it's not as original. We only time will tell once we do it, then it may change our mind. But so far, it's number seven. Let us know once again. Do you agree with this house being number seven? We happen to be here by the Fast and the Furious ride, and here we have it, the next house. And if you cannot see, hey, I didn't do it, guys, I didn't do it. You don't know that? That's the sign for Horror of Bloom House. So the Horror of Bloom House, why did, why did we rank this one as? Number six. Six, six. number six. Why did we actually rank that at number six? Uh, we think it's gonna be kind of weird because yeah. there, you have like a thrilling, house next to a funny house like it, like it doesn't match together pretty well and it's not because so you're, you're referring the freaky is like a, a ho like horror yeah. comedy yeah. Uh, movie but black phone is like a thrilling and, and I don't like the idea of sharing a house, a house together. together I just never like that I, I don't idea. think that works I just never like uh, also keep in mind that if you have watched both movies you can actually step in there and already know what it's all about but hey, we really, really like the black phone. The we black did phone like the black phone. We like the black phone, but I think Carlos was referring to this earlier. Being parents, I don't think that I like a house about kids getting kidnapped. So it's kind of like, it's kind of weird. Yeah. So, but the, the movie, we enjoy the, the thrilling part of the black phone movie. However, however, we don't think it's going to be like 
one of the best. So it didn't rank on the top five. Now that we happen to be here at this Kherson, the last time we came here, we only saw the bones. We didn't see anything else. So now that things are covered, we believe that there has to be a dead body or... We keep seeing vines, so it's probably vines with dead body. Like so, the dead body vines. well, they had to cover in order to make it um, presentable for the family when they come here to the, to the park. And now we happen to be standing in front of Halloween. And what rank, what rank did we give Halloween? Five. Number, number five. five. Any reason why we give him a number five? Because everyone thinks that since it's a repetitive house, it's going to be the same thing and it's going to be cool. Kalel's so, a little hurt. Uh, Kalel is hurt about that, but comment down below. Let us know if you agree with Kalel. That we should have ranked this at a higher um, ranking, you know, on a, maybe the top three or so. Because he... Okay. Don't, don't get us wrong. Halloween's iconic. Like, it's really good, but our top... Our, our top three, I think, is better than Halloween because I feel like we know what's going to go on with Halloween. Exactly. We know who is he going to kill, who is he not going to kill. Right. So the, the our top three is more like, wow, like I want to see And what since that this is based on our original the original movie, that's the only cool thing that we're going to be able to see. But Kyla is right. It's just the same repetitive story that we are we all know about. So We still like him, though, because it sounds like we're bashing him, but we like him. We love Halloween. We love Michael Meyer, by the way. All right, so we happen to be here at the New York area, and the left-hand side, we, what do we have? The Chupacabra. The Fiesta, Fiesta of the Chupacabra, and what do we rank those, that one at? Number four. Okay, number four. Anybody wants to explain why we rank it at number four? I, are you going We ranked it number four, even though it's an original... Even though it's an original house, it still sounds really good. And if they go with the original story, this is going to be a killer house. <laughs> so apparently, we're going to be walking in a Latin uh, town where they have seen the Chupacabra. And according to the story, we're going to see a whole bunch of blood from different tourists, which we happen to be, you know, the tourists. We're tourists. No, so if we live here. If you go, if you go by the myth of the chupacabra, it's pretty scary though, pretty and scary. it's a true myth. Yeah. Look it up because uh, it's it's very believable uh, uh, in Latin America. So uh, look at here, these have been uncovered. You got a bunch of pumpkins, kind of kind of like uh, they made it very festive, of yeah. course, because oh, is that is that yeah, you're gonna be in this Kerson, which it deals with it Major cheats. Sweet Company where the kids are eating candy and they go crazy and start right. killing people. Dare to enter the tribute store. So this Halloween tribute store is very heavily rumored to be opening this Thursday. So we start Horror Nights on Friday. The ru big rumor is it's gonna be open for the public on Thursday. Take it like a big speculation. But with that said, they actually added I think that's how the ghoulish surprises away you inside. What is this you said? I think that's the layout for the for the, for the store. For the store. So the first one is gonna be the pumpkin pie, then skeletons, then witches, and then all of it. It's yeah, out. they make sense. So now check this out. They have removed all the clues pretty much. I told you about that. That's clues. pretty cool though. I told you about the clues. Kudos to Universal Creative Team for doing Thank it. Thank you. Amazing job. So this is the final poster. I love it. Alrighty, family. So next one, what do we have over here? Uh, this has been number three, Spirits of the Coven. Spirits of the Coven. And Spirits of the Coven, as you can see, they already put the actual uh, frame over there where you're going to come in. So it is on a soundstage brought back there. Well, it's going to be on the soundstage that it used to be for the Blumen Group. So Spirits of Coven, what do we rate it at number three? We think it's going to be one of the best, but not the best. We wanted to see what's going on uh, because the witches, the witches in the 1920s. So we're very curious. That's the word. We're very curious to see what's going on, and the storyline sounds really good. Yeah, and also uh, uh, we do like witches, but the problem is the the description that, of the story that they give us online that it doesn't say much. We just said uh, witch witches. Yeah, witches from the 1920s. That's in pretty much opinion, what it is. None of them really say that much, in my opinion. Okay. Well, anyway, well, Kalel doesn't like witches, so it's kind of a fight to get to get it in the third three. place. Here in the kids zone, we got what, what number, Kalel? Number two. Number two, numero dos, and the, which one is it? The weekend. The weekend. Okay, we know what you guys are thinking. Just, just 
give us a second, okay? First okay. of all, what an artist having a house. That's, that's, I didn't bash it like this. But now looking at the artwork and looking at some of his oh, crazy so videos, it's really cool. I think this house is gonna be good. I think this house is gonna be really good. And his music, his music, I think they said seven of his music was gonna be in this house. Six or seven. Six or seven. Yeah, six or seven. So do you think people might have underrated it do you know they i think so because it was a singer they're like oh it's a singer doing really bad like you know i think in my opinion what's I so scary about blinded by the, the lights light. uh song you know well, what I'm I mean? saying even though that song is pretty cool though gonna blind you so what is so amazing and that's what people think and that's a legit that's a legit argument yeah. however kyle is correct once you start watching the weekend videos it is i mean it, like, it is so gory so cool. that they, they even YouTube have removed some of his videos. Some other companies have removed their videos because they were too gory and, and like, too crazy. I'm saying, if you're like, oh, this is be so bad, watch his videos. Watch his videos and we'll have that conversation again. I believe if, even if you disagree with us of this one being number two, I believe the weekend may end it up. Uh, after everybody uh, experienced all of their houses, maybe within the top five we houses. We sure judge this too early. I think we judge this too early. Now we happen to he be here at the Kids Zone. We finally landed on what we believe is the number one house. And what is this house? Monsters Legend Collide. All right, so Monster Legend Collide is like, obviously from the original monster. It's Wolfie. Oh, uh, that's that's how that's how the universal even calls it Wolfie. So if the Wolfman versus the Mummy versus Dracula, and basically if you didn't know the story, once again we were able to hear it firsthand from the creative team on Universal Halloween Horror Nights back in uh, Spooky Empire. And basically what I said is that the story is surrounding the Mummy. So yeah. And this is part one of part of two parts. So the part two will be in uh, Universal Studios Hollywood. So I'm excited to see how this story connects with theirs over there. So basically, what it is is the mom. Uh, they what is it that they steal an amulet from the from the mommy, and there's a battle. There's the vampire. What Dracula needs it and Wolfie needs it for something. I don't remember this. Yeah, point. obviously but they, they all didn't. Need it they for all something. need it, and there's gonna be a battle amongst the three of them. They're children. They can't share them. <laughs> so, they gotta fight for. It. They yeah, gotta fight I for. Mean, it. The, the 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 reason why we chose this house is because obviously we're honoring the fact that this is on the original the monsters, monster. and Universal spends a lot of time developing good storylines for the Universal's monster. Besides that, everybody loves the OG, crew. The OG, the OG. Of, scare, of, of, of scary movies or scary this, stories. If we didn't have these monsters, we're... Only God knows what would have happened yeah. with, it, with a lot of the horror stories. But anyway, comment down below. Are you excited about this house? Do you, be, do you agree with us? Are you like, eh? You know, so let us know, let us know. Did we rank it too high? Let us know. Now this is pretty cool because we have not seen this yet. If you just saw Karen, she's taking pictures and videos right now for Instagram, for Instagram and TikTok. TikTok. So make TikTok. sure you follow us under Cool Case Adventures. There you go. But going back to this, look at this. A rotten pumpkin with some dude. This is how Kalo looks in the morning, by the way. Every time you're gonna wake Kalel up in the morning, he's like, Do I have to wake up? Oh Lord, this looks terrifying. All kidding aside. Like this dude over here legit looks like he's looking at us. Wow. And this? What in the heck universal? What is this? Dude, this looks amazing. Again, we're just basically showing you the things that we have not shown you before on our updates. Now, they, now this is so freaking cool. So they, this is a, a, an abandoned farm or barn, and this is how it looks because it's being abandoned. La, last time we were here, we showed you the scarecrow. Better yet, they added all these, which made it make it so freaking creepy. 
I can already tell you the scare actors are going to be coming out of there simply because they're going to leave it open there's I know remember there are speakers over here and there um, it's an easy hideout but look at this we have not seen this one before so picture this it's going to be pitch black with a lanterns on the top Sheesh. Yeah, wow you won't see anybody I know now here's more scarecrow and I'm telling you guys, they're making this thing legit like it's looking at us. Last time we came here, we showed you another wa uh, this wagon and it has a speaker inside. Obviously it's covered, as you can see. It's not so well covered. You can see a leg over there, which means there's a dead body in there. Alrighty guys, today you have it here from Universal Studios. This might be our last video here in Universal before Halloween Horror Nights simply just giving you the latest update and ranking every single house and what we believe is going to be the least favorite to the most favorite so i hope you guys might find something similar with us let us know so what do you guys thought excited not excited what are you guys I'm thinking i'm really really excited i'm excited i can't wait I'm excited, but some of the houses I'm not excited. For. Not excited. We'll see. We'll see if, the, if uh, by the time that we do the first night, Kalel's opinion will change. So, anyways, we're obviously gonna be here on opening weekend. Stay tuned. We're gonna give you a whole bunch of tips and tricks that you have to follow. I mean, that that you that you should follow in order to enjoy the night even more. And a bunch of other content for Halloween Horror Night. We're excited, guys, and we cannot wait to show it all to you. But in, until then, sadly, this adventure has ended. And with that said, we have to remind everybody to subscribe and slash that like button. Turn that bell for notifications. Bing, bing, bing. And feel free to comment down below as we well too. Smile out. Be great. Be cool. And stay awesome if you got an adventure. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Boom. 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 See ya. Bye. Bye.